Want to know how to add those yellow subtitles to your videos like Grant Cardone, Alex Ramosi, or other entrepreneurs that you've probably seen on TikTok or Instagram Reels? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you four different ways to get that done. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button that we don't miss out on any future videos just like this. Hey, my name is D Green. I'm the founder of Content Made Easy, and my goal on this channel is to make social media and content creation as easy as possible for coaches and consultants that we can grow your business and make a bigger impact with your message. So let's get right into it. Here are the four different ways to add captions and subtitles to your videos on TikTok and Instagram. And in my opinion, the last one is the very best, so make sure that you stay till the very end. Now, the first way is to use a video editor. This is where you use like Adobe uh, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, or iMovie to add in your subtitles. So basically what you do in this process is you play the video and you listen to what you're saying, and then as you're saying the words, you will pause the video and type them in, and then they will show up on the screen, and then you play it a little bit more, and then you type a little bit more and you put it in. Obviously, this way can be very, very tedious, but it is a good way to make sure it's accurate, make sure that you're adding all of the effects and everything that you need. And also I believe that in maybe Adobe Premiere and some other video editing software, there's actually a way where the subtitles will actually auto pop, pop up. And so they'll auto populate for you. So all you have to do then is maybe change the colors, change the background and all those different types of things. So I'm not gonna go super, super in depth on each uh, on how to use it for each individual software. But the first way would be to use one of those video editors and to actually listen to what you're saying, pause the video, type it in, play it a little bit more, and then uh, type it in until you have finished um, the whole video. Um, that's what I've done. That's what other video editors do. So that is the first way to get that done. Now, the second way to do this is by using a website called Clipscribe. Clipscribe is great because you don't have to have all these technical skills on how to use all these programs, or maybe you don't have the money to buy these programs. It's less of a technical curve and less of a learning curve. All you have to do is upload your video. They will automatically transcribe it. There's already uh, you know, templates for what the text can look like. And so all you have to do, again, upload your video, they're gonna auto-populate all the captions, and then there's templates that you can choose from, and then all you have to do is listen back to the video and then edit um, the different words if there are any mistakes. So at first I used uh, tip number one that I gave you, then I moved on to tip number two. Now, tip number three is a rather new one. It's an app called CapCut. And I believe this is what a lot of the influencers or entrepreneurs are using if they're doing these yellow captions by themselves on these videos. So all you have to do is download this app, you put your video into the app, and then what you can do is add text. I believe it auto populates in there for you. And then you can change the color to yellow, to white, to green, all these different colors that they have. And then you can actually add emojis in there for different types of effects, for different types of words. So what you can do is go look at Grant Cardone's videos, go look at Alex Ormosi's video, or videos, other influencers' videos, see the way that they're laying their text, how they you know angle it sometimes, they put it straight, they put in the emoji, that'll give you some ideas. And then you can go into CapCut, it'll automatically put all of those words out there for you and then you just have to change the style very very easy to do um, and again you don't have to know all this technical stuff for this app you don't have to even go to that website you can just do all this right from your phone so that's the benefit of using CapCut. so that brings us to tip number four which in my opinion is the best out of this whole entire list especially if you have a business and that is to hire a content assistant someone that can actually do all of this for you because in my opinion why would you spend hours and hours and hours creating and editing content when you could be focusing on more important things such as running a business? So what you can do is go on Upwork and you can find somebody, you can hire someone relatively affordable outside of the you know United States that can do this for a couple of hundred dollars. What they could do is they could edit all of this stuff for you. So they could use the first three tips I showed you. They could use a video editor. They could use Clipscribe. They could use CapCut. All you have to do is send them your videos and then they can do all the stuff. They send it back to you in, in a Google Drive or whatever, and then you just download them. Then you can just feed them as much content as you want and you can pump it out. I guarantee you, Grant Cardone, Gary Vee, Alex Ramosi, all these different guys, girls, entrepreneurs, influencers, they are not wasting time editing all of their content because they have a business run and they know they have bigger fish to fry. So again, 
that is my number one suggestion. Maybe you're not to that point yet. That's why I wanted to give you the other three tips. But in my opinion, that is the number one thing that you should do and that you should be focused on is finding a content assistant that can edit all of this content for you. So I'm curious, out of the four different ways that I just showed you, which one are you going to go for? Let me know in the comments. Is it gonna be one, using a video editor, two, using Clipscribe, three, using CapCut, or four, are gonna do what I suggest, which is finding a content assistant. Let me know which one and why below. I'm just curious as to which one resonates with you the most. If you would like additional help using video content to grow your personal brand on social media, I created a completely free training for you. All you have to do is click the link below or click the link in the description and it'll take you right to it. You put in your email and we'll send it right over to you. So again, my goal on this channel is to make social media and content creation as easy as possible for you that we can grow your business, make a bigger impact with your message. So if you need more help, um, that training will be below. I hope that this video added a ton of value for you. If it did, again, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.